welcome to my channel. I'm Rosa Maria. Today we're going to learn how to make this fob key. This is a very simple, quick and easy sewing project for beginners. And the best thing I like about this sewing project is you don't have to use that much fabric. If you have any fabric scrap, interface scrap, and even fleece scraps lying in your sewing room, you can use it to make this fob key. So let's get started making this project. The materials you're going to be needing for this project, you'll be needing some fabric clips, sewing pins, um, some scrap interface of any kind that you want, something a little bit light, and of course a fleece interface scrap, any fabric of your choice, a pair of scissors or a rotary cutter, and some fabric scraps, not fabric scrap, but uh, fleece interface scrap, and the hardware. The hardware here is uh, one inch, and they come with the rings. I created here two templates and creating templates it's very helpful for myself because especially if I'm going to be making multiple projects it makes it easier for me to cut the fabric in the, in the exact size I need and the first template you see here is for the fabric um, I cut the template three and a half inches wide by 10 inches long and for the interface and the fleece, I cut the template one, one eighth and 10 inches long. So you'll be needing just one piece of fabric. And I have here the fleece cut out. And I have here the interface cut out. I'm going to take two, both of these two strips of interface and fleece and what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron them both together both of these material have the sticky substance the shiny sub substance I'm not sure if you can see it in the uh, camera and I am going to sandwich them together the same here with the fleece I'm going to take the 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 side that has a sticky substance put them together And then I'm going to take my iron, do a nice quick press, and iron them together. And I'm going to put this aside. Now, I'm going to take my print, printed size and face it down. And I'm going to fold it in half. Take my iron and press it together it's a little hot here i'm going to reopen it and i'm going to take the strip here and i'm going to put it here lining up against the press fold that i created by sewing i mean not by, by sewing but ironing it okay. and now i'm going to take the end here see little as you can see here, I'm going to fold this over. It's about maybe a one fourth inch. And I'm going to just iron it to create that fold. Let me make sure. Okay. A nice fold and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just flip this over and I'm going to shift this <clears throat> strip to the end over here at the other side where the fold is line it up and do the same thing I did to the other side fold it about one fourth take your iron and give it a good press Okay. 
Now I'm going to take this end and I am going to match it up. Let me just do it this way. It makes it easier for me to see and make sure everything looks aligned. So I'm going to line it up as you can see here. And this is where the fabric clips come in hand to get it to keep it together, have a nicely sandwich. Okay, just want to make sure that it's nicely sandwiched together and they're nicely lined. And I'm putting the last sewing clip here. And this is great to make any adjustments. Like you see here, the interface in the fleece is sticking out. So I'm going to take my pair of scissors and just gently sniff off that extra piece. And this end here looks pretty okay. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. And we are going to sew, let me just flip it this way. We're going to sew um, about maybe one fourth here at the edge. We just want to make sure that the opening will be closed. So we'll be sewing straight down one fourth about. And also on this end, we're going to do the same thing. And then we're going to sew two stitches right in the center uh, to make it look pretty. So let's take it to the sewing machine and I'll show you how I sew the four straight stitches across. Here at the sewing machine, you're going to see that I have my foot presser right aligned to the edge of the fabric. And I make sure that my sewing machine uh, stitch length is number four. And the reason why you see me starting here um, at this end instead of where we have the opening, uh, for some reason it plucks around me so I always sew at this end to make sure everything lines up smoothly and I have some extra clips at the end to keep again everything uh, to be smooth nothing plucker ups when I'm starting just to, um, to sew straight stretches. Back stitch. And I'm at the end back stitch. Um, hopefully you can see it close up here at this here at the camera how it looks now I'm going to start at the other ends. Let me make sure that I Pick up the thread here Line it up again as close to the edge here Back stitch and continue to sew all the way straight down. Back stitch. I got both ends, as you can see here, with a straight stitch. Now I'm going to add two more stitches in between here, and I'm going to show you how. I'll just get my thread here. Okay, 
Now I'm going to line up the foot presser against the thread here that I read. Well, not the thread, but the stitch that I made here. So I'm going to use this stitch as my sewing guide here. There goes. Now I'm going to sew the last stitch here. I'm making sure I have all these threads, extra threads lying around pulled out. Let me do it this way. Okay, back stitch. Okay, now I'm finished sewing all four stitches. As you can see, I'll bring it up to the uh, uh, to the table so you can see it better with better lighting. So this is what it looks like. Um, I have some extra thread here as you can see. I am going to take my pair of scissors and just trim off all the extra threads here to get it out of the way. I'm just being very careful I don't trim too much off. Okay, as you can see, this is what it's looked like. And I'm just taking my hardware here. Let me just remove this extra thread. Just to align it to make sure it's okay, it's even. It might be a little bit off, which is okay. Um, and before I place that hardware onto the faux fabric here, uh, let's see what I did. Okay, now I see what I did. Okay. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little pliers. And as you can see, I'm going to close it a little bit. Um, the reason why I'm doing that is going to make it easier for me when I place it on the edge of the of here the fabric here um, to close it better. So I'm going to put some fleece, some scrap free fleece. I can't even I can't even speak um, over the hardware so I don't uh, make any scratches on the metal. This is what it looks like. So now I'm going to take both ends here and I'm going to place the hardware over it as you can see. And then again I'm going to now take this extra piece of fleece over. I just want to make sure. Okay. And Okay, now I moved it. So, take my hardware and close it. Let me take, go to the other side here and close it. And it gives it a little more secure. I just trim off these little extra little threads out. So this is what it looks like. And then now I'm going to take the ring. I'll use my hand, my fingers to kind of open it. 
and just place it. And there you go. Um, again, you can make, before you place the fold, um, always measure it that everything is aligned properly. Um, so, so you won't have these little extra spaces in between. But that's okay. Um, if it comes out that way, um, when you keep practicing and keep doing it, um, you'll see um, how you improve on when you're making um, these FOB keys and making sure that they're more aligned and close to the FOB har hardware. So we are done making our FOB key. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell. And when you click on that bell, YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. And also in the description box, I put all the material listed and also the links where you can purchase the materials. So I hope you have a good one. Bye.